Okay, it's Behind the Booth, episode number two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got Orlando Party Hub in here. You yes, My boys. And then I've yes, got sir. my boy from way back in the day. I wouldn't even call him my boy. I this call him my day. brother. That's this how Yeah, brother. Back yeah, it's day H one. Dot. Love for life. E.T., what's up? What's going on, everyone? Chill, so chill. this is episode number two, right. and I've decided to bring in some guests. And... Uh, Basically, I would like you guys to tell me what you guys, who you guys are, and what you guys do. So let's start off with you guys, Orlando Party Hub. Orlando Party Hub, we to connect. You know, we kind of a liaison for the DJs and the events, okay. spots. You know, uh, we to connect, man. Holla at us. Yeah, y'all want to go to a party? Y'all want to go to an event? You know, hit us up, Orlando Party Hub. That's the Instagram page. You know, we just starting it out right now. We uh, working with Chasers on the River out in Sanford. That's the spot that we, you know. Uh, Promoting everything like that, and you know, holla at us. We out here. Perfect. And then, what about you, H Dot? Well, well, H Dot, Mister in the kitchen. Okay. Mister okay. E T, sign now. <laughs> H Dot in the kitchen. You know me working my move, man. Just working. Okay. Uh, so elaborate. What's what what's Mister in the kitchen mean? Oh, in know. the kitchen is a platform for all up and coming artists to expose their talent and at the same time is a platform where you actually where I actually interview the artist before they actually start the show okay. before they actually start putting their record out so I kind of bring it back to the essence so people could know who the person is yeah. before they just oh let me hear this because right now it's just singles and it's like you don't even know who it is you don't know what they about you don't know their name you don't know where they from you don't know nothing you just hear this song you're supposed to just gravitate towards it versus back in the day we would get to know the person a little bit more you know what i'm saying so i kind of give them a chance to show their self okay. in person and just so you can feel their energy through the camera and you kind of get just a better insight of on them and then i let them get to the music because a lot of times with the in the kitchen show you might like somebody's personality before they even start rapping yes. even though if even if i might interview them for let's say 30 seconds just still, once you hear somebody start speaking, you going to decide on whether that moment or not, I like this person. No, I, I agree 100% because sometimes you might even like the artist and not really be into their music as much. Exactly. You, still, you know, you, you, you like them, you know, just exactly. because of, of their personality. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, that's what's good about In The Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you started out here in Orlando, but you've been mm -hmm. branching now. Tell us what you've been doing. Um... As what as far as with the show? You, as far as the show branching out. Oh yeah, the show. The so I've been meeting people like myself um, in different cities and stuff like that, and just um, connecting with different type of promoters and um, saying like, listen, they've been checking out the platform. Like, yo, I see a kitchen show. Da 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 da. Like, how can you bring this to my city? So I've been doing. I've done it in Milwaukee. I've done it in Boston. I've done it in. Uh, I don't know if I've done it in Philly. I'm not sure. I know if they wanted it in Philly. I've done it in Minnesota. I've done it in Milwaukee. I've done it in California. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cities that's kind of really getting tapped in. I'm working on Charlotte. I'm work. Uh, Miami is there. I just really didn't get to do it yet. There's a lot of other probably like. There's a, I'm missing a few. I just can't really think yeah. right now. Like, you know, I got like right now. Somebody said come to L.A. I've done it in L.A. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um And that's actually where you I've done it in Atlanta too, huh? You've been yeah. going back and forth. Yeah, going back and forth from um here to LA. So would you say that in the kitchen has been your main motivation to get out to all LA to do in No, the you know what? You know what it was? I I left LA when I I left here, I'm sorry. When I was like I hit the ceiling. I was like I was in Orlando and I was like, um if it's not the radio. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't get on the radio out here yeah. What more can you do? You know what I'm saying? And you look at E.T., he's been on the radio. You yeah. still on the radio? Well, no, I don't do the Yeah, so E.T., like, I came up side to side with E.T., so I had a first hand on. I wasn't really in the office, but E.T. was in the in the office, so I was like, I kind of seen that first hand, and now it's just like, well, all right. Well, I'm working at Beecham. It. I do the radio, but I do my radio. You like still right do the now. radio. Right, we, this, this is, is your my radio. radio. Korea's next. It's a, it's I didn't want to speak radio. on that. Oh, yeah, Korea's next. And that's why I respect you, and that's why I wanted you as a guest, because yes. you think like me. Yeah. It's yours. Right, In the yeah, kitchen, for sure. it's yours. Not, yeah, you can't nobody take this away from exactly, me. Exactly, exactly. And now, if someone big wants to partner up, then you put yourself in a much better position mm -hmm. to partner. That's where a fact. you're a team versus an employee. Right, right, right. And that's right, why right. that's what I like about it. And that's why I wanted to bring you on the show because I really wanted to you to explain to how you did it. You know? Oh. Because it's not easy. Oh, like how I did the um 
how did I come up with the in the kitchen? Yeah. Uh it's crazy. Your right hand man, uh Mannix. Um okay. So E. T. when I was learning how to uh DJ, yeah. you know, I came up around E. T. so I knew this I didn't know how to play with the turntables. I always had a sense of what how to work it. I never really got into the whole like scratching thing, but I've always known how to play with the turntable. So when I started DJing for Gunna, yeah. um I had to like master it yeah. to an extent. So I would always just stay sharp, you know what I'm saying, on my controller and stuff like that. And um I started playing an instrumental and I was on DJing on the countertop, so I'm playing an instrumental or whatever. And as I'm DJing, uh Manic starts freestyling over the instrumental. Yeah. So I'm live. So people are in the live like, yo, who's that? Like, yeah. he's rapping. Like, what? So then it was it was fun. Like, yeah. and it was like, yeah, we in the kitchen. Yeah. And then the people went from 10 to 15 to 20 with the numbers and the viewers. I'm like, oh, like, this is really a thing. So then I was like, um, okay, I got something for this. So then, so I, after we ended the live, I hit up um, Dreesy and Pressure Dahmer. They did the first in the kitchen with me. Those were the first artists, so I always got them for life. Yeah, they that's tapped it. in. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? So they jumped in and I um we did the show. I made a flyer for it. I treated I treated it like a party. Yeah. Like if, Oh you yeah, know, yeah, I see because I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I treated it like a party, like how you get ready for an event. And I was like, I put it on Instagram. I said, We're gonna go live. This is right when Instagram live started, and I was like, I have to find a way how to utilize Instagram live. And ever since I started it that Thursday, I just kept kept pushing you so know it really if it wasn't for instagram live i mean where do you think it Not, would be if it wasn't for instagram live i would have never did it yeah yeah that's good. it was just like another platform and it was like wait yeah they opened up another outlet on instagram like yeah. if you could find how to if if you could find a way to work i said to myself if i could work instagram live yeah like i work um instagram regular yeah I'm, I'm at a plus. So you understand what I'm saying? Like when you po when you posting, yeah. you know, you use Instagram. So I was like, it's another platform. Use yeah, Instagram yeah. Live. Why not? Yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's how I looked at the it. Game. Yeah, change the game. And then they made Instagram TV. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, so when I'm been doing that, it's light work. As soon as they posted, oh, I was yeah. like, this is light work. Yeah. I was already in the field. Okay. You feel me? So I had already I already had my post. They was made. They made it better for me because I make the videos longer now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. They were only that's a minute. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. And so it, some yeah. freestyles, some of the hardest freestyles couldn't even fit. So I was like... So IGTV is like an extended version of Instagram videos. Exactly. So, so uh, it, yeah. So Instagram kind of has like three different pla platforms. Huh? They got the live, yes. they got the TV, yes. and then they got the you know the regular exactly. Instagram. Exactly. And if yeah. you go on Instagram TV, and when you're searching on Instagram TV, there's a lot more different content on Instagram TV yeah. than on Instagram. So... I know you with copyright and different things like that, you might get flagged as far as beats. So whose um, beats have you been using? Um, I use classics. That's why I prefer to use classic beats. Because when I use classic beats, they don't really get touched like that. But when I, I don't really like to use the new mainstream beats. I like to kind of keep the game back to the old school days. And it's like, because you, you, with these kids, you know that they can rap on these. Yeah. Like, you know they can rap on them. So I give them, I challenge them, and the challenge is putting them on beats, the old school classics, yeah. and just bringing the essence. Like ET, when we used to be back in the club, and DJs, when DJs would DJ, they would DJ down south, west coast, and east coast. Yeah, they do the whole United States. You feel me, Midwest, all of that. But now you go to the club, you just gonna hear all southern stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I was just like, man, let me bring it back to the essence, and that's why certain people like it. A lot of people, they people really love it. I do poets. I do, anybody that got anything going on as that they trying to showcase, man, I let them come on the kitchen. It ain't about nothing. Like you know, what I'm saying I got the platform. Yeah. I can do it. So it's be poets. It. Is it rappers with bars or is it rappers? Nah, I do with everybody because at the end of the day, it's all about if you are if you want to be in this music industry, come in the kitchen. Okay. You know, what I'm saying we give everybody a shot. If okay. you're talented, you gonna yeah. Yeah. When if you ain't talented, you know you gonna crack. You All know right, what top I'm saying? three in top the kitchen. Three rappers in the kitchen so far. I know that's a hard question. I might need you to assist me. Oh, you really put me on the spot. <laughs> top three artists that's ever been on the kitchen. Um, first, I want to give a shout out to Zoe Dollars. That was one of the big oh, first wow. mainstream and artists. A lot of people know who Zoe Dollars is. Yeah, shout out to Zoe Dollars, one of the uh, first major artists to ever come on the kitchen. Appreciate him. 
Um, so I'm gonna take him out of it. Uh, for okay, I gotta say L.A. the Goat. Okay, that's number one. Okay. Because of his bars or because of his flow? It's because he's just he's just in the kitchen vet. Okay. So so I'm gonna give it to L.A. the Goat first. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to um I gotta put that kid uh tomorrow from Minnesota. That's true. Okay. That's two. My third one, in the kitchen, who has shook the room. Yeah. Any crazy females? I need Juju. I want to hit it on the money. Um, If I can give it to a female. Oh, yeah. You got to do a girl. You know. Yeah, I got to do a girl. But see, I ain't going to... Cause Nah, she ain't no legend, though. Nah, legend. Like, okay, so I'll say it would be between Badass Becky and Dreesy. Oh, yeah, I've met Badass Becky. You know? Just out of respect. So I would give it to them, too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, two rappers that's killed it, I would give it to Tamara and L.A. The Goat. That's, like, every time I post theirs, it's like, whoa. Like, okay. the numbers go up. They oh, don't wow. really play with it. Yeah, they don't really play. Like, if I post their video right now, it's going to go up. It's so... Like, some of L.A. The Goat's freestyles, people have asked me for, like, can they listen to it in okay. the car? Um, tomorrow's is... Whew, yeah. It's a different level. So what about In The Kitchen for producers? Um, I've had some up? producers. We done producers. We used oh, to... have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I let them come on oh, there and go. showcase their beats. Um, I've had some good producers. Yeah, good. good. It was cool. It was cool. They, they came on there and did their thing. I've had some good producers. Um, so where do you see it going? In the next year, um, my the, the ultimate goal with me for in the kitchen is um doing it every day in a different state. Yeah, that's a good Monday one. through Friday. That's a good idea. Um, big touring for it. Um, big touring for it. Big network, if not big network, big sponsors, but more so than touring because I like to travel. Yeah. So I'd love to just travel with it and then just add on the sponsors if we add on the tv you know it could be facebook i i don't care it could be netflix you know i know all of these streaming sites is there but yeah netflix with I can the, see it on netflix yeah yeah know. yeah netflix you know yeah. with or without them though i know i could get it out the mud yeah. it's just um making the product more professional and i already know it's the behind the scenes things that i need to do that's going to make people be like okay we respect yeah. what you got going on here. Go but check. regardless of even getting it on the, to those platforms, which eventually will happen for you, mm -hmm. but regardless, it actually promotes what you're doing, and that's DJing, the hosting, the hosting. and and that's the plus with the that's yeah. where that's the plus with the kitchen is the fact that not only do you got the kitchen, but you got me as a host. So it's like they don't like a lot of people don't know they might tap into the kitchen and not know how strong I am in the club. Yeah. Like last week, we had this artist named Big Ben, and I was like, you know, he came over. No, I actually did him in Atlanta, and then he did his uh, promo tour run, and he was in, uh, he was here in Orlando, so he got two in the kitchens. You know what I'm saying? Last week, I did him in, a week before I did him in Atlanta, yeah. and then the following week, he got it in Orlando. So then the next day, he comes with me to beach him. Okay. So he didn't know yeah. I was a host like that. Yeah. So it was like, oh, okay. Okay, okay, this makes sense. Okay, this is who he yeah, is. So you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, so that kind of that opened up his eyes in a whole nother, another perspective. Yeah, so that's good. That's yeah, good. that's cool. What about you two? You got any questions for in the kitchen? I think it. Uh, you know, I I think it's something that's that's booming big time right Thanks, now. Thanks, man. I appreciate you know, it. You know, I'm sure you got a lot of support. Yeah, from know, the city. You know, we've. We love what you do. Brother. For sure. And, think, and, I, and I shout out everybody company. Yeah, so you know, anytime no. y'all want to come on in, you know, just and, get a shout out. And you're already doing it state to state already right now. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's already the snowball effect. It's already yeah, at it's some really point going to get crazy. Like, you know, everybody going to be booking you everywhere. It's yeah, gonna, yeah. That's why we, I'm just right now, I'm just masterminding the whole website and just putting everything in order to make it simpler for me. So it's like right, right. we can get straight to the point in that yeah. way. And another thing I'm announcing, I could say this cuz I'm on Facebook and it's not Instagram, but I'm going to be announcing tonight that I'm getting towards um in the kitchen DJs. So, 
in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, yeah so like, uh, ET yeah. knows about, uh, what's it, what's this them DJ's correlation? Is it called correlation? Yeah, a DJ correlation, I would say. Or yeah, a, yeah. Or a team or a squad. Or DJ or teams or squad. Yeah. But I'm not really making mine to where it's like, because I know they be like, oh, you got to be locked in. Yeah. You can't, I don't play that exclusiveness. You know what I'm saying? I want whatever DJ squad you would already be on that like yeah. right, I'm gonna right. be announcing tonight so in the kitchen DJs for instance uh, me and Sway Lee have a really good relationship right right you know what I'm saying I caught him I've known him before he popped so it's like when when you were in the kitchen DJ and you walk up to an artist that I don't already knew and you say yo I'm an in the kitchen DJ it puts you on a whole nother yeah. respect level with right. the artist you feel Urgil, me Urgil. You get, you, you, it's, so it's like a it's like a masterminding thing with the with the artist. So it's, it's and it's a such a such a way to where it's like, I right, when I make these in the kitchen DJs, not even make them, but they already popping DJs, and yeah, I right. and I'm bringing all of these DJs together, and it's like, yo, we press and go on this record. I don't even. It doesn't matter if you don't play it a million times, but long as my DJs, not my DJs, but the DJs that's in my team, yeah. We just put it on your platform one time and we're like, yo, in the kitchen DJs. Yeah. And we're hashtagging that on the artist. Yeah. They can't miss it. So he's like, yo. So anytime you somewhere and you be like, oh, I'm an in the kitchen DJ, you get a different type of respect. Okay. You feel me? Because it's not when what's the thing what's the DJ groups called again? Well, uh, I'd say a correlation. Correlation. Or just team. Right. So when you say, so for instance, like, give me one, E. T. Uh uh, I would say like heavy hitters or heavy big hitters. dog pit bulls. Okay, or... so so back in the day when you say them, it's like they 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 get records, right? And they and when they get when they when they get records, they um they just press play on them. They don't. It's nothing really, no catch with it. But when you be in the in the kitchen DJ, is a platform where I actually interview up and coming artists. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying we really for the artists is a different type of energy we put in towards the putting towards the artists and not just oh like. We playing your record. Nah, we we for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you if you get it once once I get this thing together, the in the kitchen DJs, it's like, oh yeah, if you were in the kitchen DJ, that's heavy. Like, and hey man, I'm not trying to make people exclusive. We just we building a relation. I want my right. DJs to have the relationship with these artists and not so much more the relationship with I can yeah, we're gonna build a relationship with each other, E. T. But the relationship with the artists. So when we see these artists and you catch them walking out the club, you know, cause a lot of DJ, a lot of artists, they'll curb you. Like they leave in the club, like, but if you like, but if I done met them, right? Yeah. So I'll put you in a different space, right? So let's say if you run into E. T. I mean run into Sway Lee, right? Yeah. Or you run into Gunna. Yeah. And you run into them be like, yo, I'm an in the kitchen DJ. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gonna It's a right. different no disrespect to like yeah the heavy hitters and nothing like that but when you say that that name is so big yeah. it doesn't fall back to anybody like it doesn't have no relationship to one person so it's like when if i already started to establish a certain relationship with them they're not going to give you the cold shoulder they're going to be like oh okay right instead of you know when you meet somebody you'd be like oh i'm such and such peoples yeah 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 that's cool but if you a dj and you say i'm an in the kitchen dj yeah. Yeah, we break for me exactly because right. there's a bond. A whole different there's exactly. A bond. So for Respect. instance, we I'm not into breaking. I know I'm into breaking artists. That's a difference. Yeah, not That's breaking it, records. Yeah. Like when you they, these other things, people okay. they break records. Right, we right. into breaking artists. That's a whole different wave. You know what I'm saying? So when you understand the culture of the game. That's a whole like yeah we break artists we don't break records we breaking artists yeah. we trying to make these artists come through yeah. so when we come when we become responsible for breaking artists that's so that's one of the things I'm gonna be announcing tonight on in the kitchen that's good you know and I got a lot of people that's gonna want to jump on that because it's crazy because if I, right now when I post something and I'll be like yo press play on this I got a few DJs right now this is why I wanted to start it because I got a few DJs right now. That'll play it and tag me and tag the artist. Why? Because they know I got the relationship with the artist. Yeah. So it makes the artist yeah. like, oh shit, yeah. we gotta fuck with these DJs. Yeah. So I don't want DJs, I don't like how DJs get treated, first of all. Yeah. That's just me off respect. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like DJs should get paid more from artists. Yeah. I feel like yeah, DJs should true. have a little more. I feel like DJs aren't really. DJs are big and they don't get appreciated like they ha like they're supposed to. No. You feel me? I feel like the DJ should have I, I, no disrespect, and I mean it's they're the uh, huh? They're the backbone, but there's a lot of DJs with Apple watches, and the artist is making too much money. I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah. 
know what you're talking about. Well, the DJ, what the DJ should do is the DJ should turn the table around and not play what's hot to, in the charts and play their friends. No, but I'm saying though, but still when these artists get on, yeah. take care of your DJ. Yeah, oh yeah, give back. That's true. There's a lot of DJs that's still that's still making checks like DJs that's still the only difference between I know different ain't no difference between a DJ that's on a tour and a DJ that's in the local city. Yeah. A DJ in a local city could be getting paid way more than a DJ that's on tour. Do right by your peoples. Right. You feel me? So I feel like DJs should be should should it, it, a lot more DJs should be icy. Let me just say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot more DJs should be, you know, and and you can't you can't just be like, oh, you know, they ain't need to get on their grind. Nah, DJs put in. There's a lot of DJs out here that deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Is like if you lit, put your DJ on. Make them. Your DJ should not be walking around here with an Apple Watch. If there was one DJ you could shout out right now, who would it be? That that you could say that wow. you. I got work with I got two. With the most. All right. DJ Clue. There's a storm. Heavy. Relationship with DJ Clue, um, DJ Mark the Spot out in LA. Heavy relationship. Two people that met me and and DJ Nasty. I'm so yeah, sorry. Nasty, that's my boy, yeah. DJ Nasty took cheap. me first. DJ Nasty, the first DJ, DJ that take me out the country. First person to take me out the country for a show. That's what's up. Five years ago, he took me to Toronto. Let me host with him with Khaled yeah, right before some, Khaled popped. Local DJs in Orlando. Um, shout out. I shout out my boy DJ Legend. He worked with me every Legend, um yeah. yeah. Uh, DJ Legend work with me every Monday at Alchemy. Um, I got, you know, DJ uh, Consistency, DJ, uh, shit, I'm saying Big Disco, man, Love for Life. Um, so many DJs, no disrespect. I don't, you know, I, I that that's just, I'm, that makes me, you know, there's so many DJs out here, you know, shout out to Rest in Peace Disco JR, I love you know everybody. what I'm saying? Yeah, I got love for everybody, you know what, what I'm saying? About, uh, DJ Nice one. DJ Nice. That's what I'm saying. It's like my hand. My it's just depend depending on where I'm at and what I'm doing. Shout out to DJ Et. Like this is a well, family the thing. Thing about it is, is you're the kind of guy that has no enemies. You got yeah. your friends with yeah, every everybody. DJ. Yeah, so yeah, I'm friends. Yeah. Yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I don't. Yeah, and I don't want to miss but nobody. You do have your you're favorites. all over the map. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. Over. But I said that's why I said nasty. Yeah. I'm sorry. DJ Disco Rick out of 305. He put me in G5. You feel me? DJ Nasty took me out the country. Yeah. DJ Mark the Spot let me, when I first moved to LA, Zoe Dollars introduced me to him. Yeah. And he put me in, and Mark the Spot put me in a club in LA. So I got love for DJ Mark the Spot. Um, DJ Clue, I could go to New York right now and I'll be all up in power 105. Like me and DJ Clue have a very, I'm, I'm just a very appreciative of these relationships that I got with these people, man, because it's, is a blessing. You feel me? Like the game so green when you meet people that's good hearted and pure as you, like you appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, damn, I don't want to miss nobody. So I appreciate Disco Rick because when I first started going out to Miami, he put me on at G5. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the biggest strip clubs in Miami. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mark the spot put me on in LA. DJ Nasty took me out the country yeah. two times to Toronto. Yeah. Toronto and what's the other? It's Toronto and, um, um Ontario Ontario yeah he took me there and um so I got DJ Nasty and then I got DJ Clue and it's like I, I appreciate them man it's it's a blessing knowing them man cause it's just people just so not pure you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, people not so pure game. you gotta it's a tough game man you gotta be game. mentally there's a lot of mental things that just come with this it ain't just hustle 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 you gotta you gotta outthink people you know what I'm saying like free my little cousin Pud he said to me yesterday like out here you gotta be the finesse or you're going you're gonna to get finessed or you're going to be the finesse? The finesser. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's finessing. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's just like you got to choose what side you want to stand on. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody finesse you, you got to say to yourself, well, it's okay. I paid for that game. And you take it. You can't get mad if you get finessed. It's something you didn't know. But now you're knowledgeable of it and you, you know. Yeah. That's an experience. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an experience. You know what I'm saying? So you could just take that with you. Yeah. So what's your, what's your next big big venture you got planned out right now well um right now we working on i'm glad i'm on facebook um i'm working on in the kitchen for korea okay oh, so yeah, yeah yeah i'm working korea? on korea yes korea korea oh, goodness that's Kim wild Chung. that's oh, wow okay. yeah you take dog. rodman with you huh? my dog go worldwide take dennis rodman with you <laughs> wow what's dennis rodman doing over rodman's there rodman's always out there oh pause 
<laughs> what, that Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. But you're going to North Korea. I got, I don't know. My homegirl's from South, so my homegirl's from there, and she's been tapping in with the show, and uh, she's from Korea, and then she has a big YouTube following, yeah. and they've been asking her like, "Yo, who was your friend? Like, yeah. what is he doing? Like, they're tapping in, so they tapped in. So that's something I'm working on. You know, God willing, we get that going through. And I know if I once I go to Korea and do a kitchen back here, is gonna look crazy. It's gonna oh, be yeah. like it wow, it looks crazy. It looks crazy. So then, what you got going on in LA when you're not? You know? Um, when I when I'm in LA, right? I so LA is like a very, <laughs> LA is a different ball game. You yeah. feel me? Like they do kind of last minute things. So, LA is the type of place where it's like Puff call me and be like, "Yo, yeah, come DJ at my house, Soul Food Sunday. Yeah. It's twelve o'clock. I need you here by two thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Face ain't shaved. You gotta be ain't got where the outfit. action can happen. You feel me? It's like, yeah, it's like, it's it's so fast that, you know, they just want to, you got to be available and ready. That's right. You feel me? As long as you're available and ready, you can go to the moon. Yeah. And when I say ready, meaning like ready for the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So I always, that's why, like yesterday, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I haven't DJed in a minute, right? Because I've been working ET. So yesterday, me, Juju, Mannix, and... um. A couple of the people went up to uh, Alchemy, yeah. and I had a meeting. And then after the meeting, I just started DJing. It was like the owner was like, "Yo, you want to DJ in here tonight? Ain't nobody in here." I'm like, "I was like, bro, I haven't DJed, and I like to hear music loud so I could feel new records. You know what I'm saying? I like that's just me. I like to hear shit loud. Yeah. So when uh, Juju and a couple other people left, I was DJing. It was like two girls in there from the islands, right? So they asked me to play uh, T Pain. And she tipped me like ten bucks, and then she and then she comes back and was like, "Yo, can you play uh something Monica?" And then they text me like sixty bucks. Yeah. So mind oh you, it's like gosh. me and two people right. here. So now I'm now I'm DJing. Like I've been DJing, DJing, but now I'm DJing, DJing. And they come back and drop another dub. I'm like, okay. Let's make this night count. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you is always a it's always a way to find a way. You just got to, you know, put I, yourself in Put yourself in it. It's like it was nobody in there, but yeah. them two and Heineken's in the yeah. in the hookah staff, but I was just like, man, I got to practice. I was just fiending in the practice. And I could have left early. I could have left at like 11 something. I was something told me like, "Nah, you got to you supposed to you know you got to stay in here and touch your you know this these turntables need to touch your hands and i stayed in there and got paid for it yeah, on yeah, a cool I mean, that's it is you put yourself out there yeah, and that's man. one thing about you you're always on the go yeah for Which sure we yeah we've been like that always working yeah for sure we always so, been um, like that. outside of music what's next for h doll i mean you're going to get into a, a, a business venture are you going to get into more things in the community um, I actually do things with the community right now. I, I work with Jr. from time to time. I go to um, I go to the uh, what middle school is that? Oh my gosh, I forgot. I think it's Memorial Middle School. I always go there once a year, talk to the kids. Um, I'm working on. I, I got some few plans. Like I want to do movies. I want to do. I, I want to start working on some short films. Like I have. A, I have. I have a mind for um. I could say it, you know, because at the end of the day, they hear you, but they don't ever do it. I feel like no, I want to do it. I know, yeah, they like they could hear me, but yeah. they won't do it. Um, I want to do an EP with. A, I want to choose an artist or whoever I'm ever helping at the time, and take his music and make a short film. Yeah. Not a short film, but a movie. Yeah. Out of it, but a musical. Yeah. But you know, we done seen this. Jay Z done did this back in the day. So you. So you take all their all their records from the album yeah. and you make a, a make a movie of it, but it's a musical. So you you involve you make the mu the music videos are in the movie. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that way the content is all in one. Right. So that makes them get a feel for the records, yeah. not just listening to the records. Yeah. So I, yeah. that's one of my one of the things I really want to do. I really want to tap into the to the film industry so that like, be more like a hobby or is that something no nah, that's like like i just it's just leveling this game up right here okay okay and so just getting to the to this resume, yeah it's right. like I ain't, I ain't gonna i ain't gonna lie to you like if i had i could do it but it's just like i'm not looking to do it right now but yeah. if i had like a little staff to really like if i had a camera dude that had the camera to do it yeah. and i had an artist that's like yo listen to me with your eyes closed yeah yeah. Meaning like I'm going to lead you the right way You know what I'm saying We could do it Because it ain't nothing to it But to do it Just using your resources And putting it together And doing it
Yeah. So back back in the day, you you was like the guy in high school. Everyone used to say, "Yo, H Dot, he's the rapper. He's gonna be the rapper." Man, and you used to rap, so? and you used to send me records, and I used to be like, "Yo, this is hot." Yeah, Et used to love the rapper H Dot. I used to love when he used to rap. Yeah, Et used to, and the last song he loved was yeah. "Act Right." I I used to love that song, and I was just thinking about it today. I was like, "Damn." So yeah, you, know, you want to know the crazy thing about that record? Shout out to Yola's here too. Um, the crazy thing about the Act Right record is uh. Before mustard pop, oh, before mustard, before 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 mustard popped, um, I put it on his computer. I mean, I knew mustard before he popped. You feel me? Before him and YG, yeah. So you know the Yo Gotti, act right, act right. Et probably never put it together, but those two records mix together. So, okay. you hear me, Et? Yeah, I hear you. So yeah, I left it on his computer because I wanted him to jump on the record. And add his tag. Yeah. Okay. I wanted him to oh, amp. It sounded like a mustard yeah, beat. Yeah, yeah. So at the time, his sound wasn't global yet. Yeah. Right, right. So he wanted like, oh man, he wanted like twenty five hundred at the time to, to put his tag on it. Yeah, like probably thirty five hundred. I'm lying. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but he was yeah at the time. Oh, you saying how cheap it was, right? Well, not really. I just feel like the opportunity was there. It's just like, oh my gosh, like gee, geez, three bands. I mean. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Then you I feel can me? only imagine what he would. Yeah, about. like then, and it's like, but nobody really, you know, when you got people that are around you that got the bread, they they see you, but they don't really. You're like, yeah, I see what you're trying to do. But now, if I said that, everybody would jump on it. So it was like, damn, I wish, I, and I wish I had the money to do it then. So months go by. Some people call me from LA. My guy Marathi, like, yo, you heard this record? Did you get writing credits on this record? Is this your record? It's like, nah, what happened? And I just hear, boom, boom, I'm going, going back, back to the, and that was the Yo Gotti joint. And I see Mustard, Mustard still, and it's crazy because Mustard still follow me on Snap, but I, it's like, man, it's part of the game. You feel me? I'd rather, I'd keep the relationship. I'm not going to confront you about that. Yeah, give a yeah, damn yeah. about that shit, Mustard. He, 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 he rock, you are. Yeah, and, and we rock with each other, and he, he be, you know what I'm saying? He'd be tapping in with me, so it's like, man, I don't give a damn about that shit. Like, I got, I know you, you know me, and you know right. me from here. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know and I know, and it's all love, like, it is what it is. It's, it's part of the game. Well, you might pull up on him in LA and he might say, let's make another one. <laughs> right. And it's crazy. I was supposed to get him some kitchen merch. So it's like, you know, when you know, when somebody know when you know about something, it's like, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know the real deal. But yeah. The yeah, rapper. So, so all right. So back to the question. I'm sorry. You had the song. Then, you, you know, you was doing. Oh, okay. I'm we, all, we all know. Well. I know right. a lot of other people that know you. Mm -hmm. They know no, that you could rap. You could jump in the rap game at any time. Yeah, I don't really even yeah, speak so, on so, it. So yeah, I know why. Because um, where I'm at yeah. in life, yeah. I don't want artists to think I'm trying to be a rapper. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to help people. Yeah. So it's like when I get to that level of a Khaled, yeah, yeah, and it's like. I'll do it, okay. but I'm not gonna. I don't want to speak on it. I don't play on the mic on in the kitchen. Yeah. I don't even play with it because I don't want to give people the eye like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah. he can rap. Like, it's like this. People already low-key, like, feel some type of way yeah. Yeah. Take notes about me. Too. You feel me? Yeah, like, people already, like, when I walk in the room, yeah. once they find out I'm not the rapper, they still kind of find a way to, like, try to yeah. push me off to the side because they feel like I know too much. You feel me? If oh, I'm I trying to help. I hear what you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, when you know too much... It's too it's, it's it's a good and a curse, you feel me? So it's like I already be getting pushed. Dangerous. Yeah, I'm like, and it's like I'm not trying to take nobody's position. Let's work right. together. Let's monopolize the game together. So I kind of just be like, I right, nah, I don't even touch it. But I know it's I know you know what et I know it's there too. And it's crazy because I haven't even never I haven't played with it in years. But I know it's there because I'm I'm DJing too. So and I know what type of flows people want. But I'm like. I just don't even do Well, you got the voice. In. That's what it is. We yeah. always just say, yeah. Yeah, H-Dot got the voice. Yeah, Manny's yeah. got the voice, yeah, too. Got the vo Yo, TV got, got the voice, too. Yeah, right. that's why I tell them, like, you know, you know, God put me in this place right now. So it's like, you know, I always look at this shit like it could be taken away from me. You know what I'm saying? I'll never, I always look at it like, you know, it's elevated, it gets elevated, but... I always treat it like tomorrow I can be taken away. So if you around me, maximize the situation, bro. Because if it's not here tomorrow, you're going to say, I wish I would have did. 
and you don't want to wish on nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to wish that you took advantage of the space that I was in. You know what I'm saying? Well, to be honest with you, from outside, I mean, I could be wrong, but the way it looks to me is like you see a bunch of rappers trying to rap and you was a rapper, so you know. It's just a big pit of rappers. So you actually stepped outside of the box and you was like, you know what? I could rap at any time. Let me let me get to the back. Let me yeah. let me get some gigs. I can host. Mm -hmm. Let me let these other rappers try to rap mm -hmm. and maybe one I'll pop like you said yeah. to get like DJ right, Khaled. Right, right, right. I'll and wait then years from now. Yeah. I'll jump in the Yeah, game I'll jump later. back in it later, later, later. But right now I'm into like I like putting records together. Like I like putting producers with artists or artists with artists you know what i'm saying so was that your big deterrent was how many people are really trying to you do know it? you know what yeah i think it was that too et and at the time like me and et used to do a lot of parties together and i was getting i started getting booked like oh okay yeah. and then you know what happened et what? it took it started taking up the host and took up, up a lot of my time yeah. so i was like let me just concentrate on that and i'll just get back to it and then when i went left it went right yeah <laughs> So you gotta That's why I tell people Sometimes you just gotta go left To get right Yeah You yeah. You gotta You know what I'm saying Everybody wanna do music Or everybody wanna rap But it's like Yo you might be good At something else yeah. You'll come back to that I wouldn't come back To rapping though right now Because I know I'm not high enough yeah. You gotta get to that point To where you saying Are oh, you about to do music Yeah yeah It's gonna be It's gonna be epic Right It's like Jay -Z, It's like Jay Z saying I'm about to go act It's sold out Yep that's why all your followers, you know, they got to stay loyal because any day you could be the next Tiger. You could be the next Jay-Z. Right, for you sure. Now, we are that. the next that. Yeah, you know that, what I'm saying? Right. That's a, And the beautiful thing about this situation, like with E.T., bro, we've been doing this shit. Like, this is not nothing. This is just a different playing field for me and E.T. That's the crazy part about it because we was doing this shit since we were 15. Like I said, we done carried crates together. We done got kicked out of parties together. We done did... I done, he done got in trouble with his parents in front of me. Yeah. I done got in tr trouble with my mom in front of him. Like, yeah. it's deeper. Like, E.T. was one of the first people with a car around us. Yeah, you know what I'm true. saying? That's so it's like, I forgot. yeah, he was one of the first people with a car around us. So it was like, pick up and drop off with E.T. So it's like, stay at E.T.'s house, like, gr groove all the teen nights. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're like, right. we done, yeah, groove. like, we, the mean, groove. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, my Jeez. minute, yeah, you can't, I don't forget the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Because that's what makes everything today. Like that's why I say like it was. We used to be in ET's upstairs. It would look like a. You would consider it a basement, but it was his room was like a rooftop, yeah. and sort of. So it was like we just get in there, play music, and at the time when we was working, me and ET, um, Slim from One Twelve was popping. Yeah, that's and right. And we was. I think we we didn't graduate high school yet. Remember that song? Just like um. Fresh out the shower, fresh. Remember that Slim? You don't remember that record? Uh, For Slim and One Twelve. Well, we had access to that, um, so we were just, we was just trying, we was just, we just been kids, just trying to find our way in the mix for a very long time um i'm just thinking of some stories right now like et like odds and ends the biggest producers in the game me and e et is very friends with, you still yeah, friends with yeah, them nino and jay yeah you still talk to still them still talk to them yeah nino and jay um who else is a big producer from well, here i'd say nasty nasty yeah nasty yeah nasty nasty, nasty. nasty. yeah nasty nasty, nasty yeah, out here that's who I was looking for, oh, the runners, the right? Runners, okay. The runners, right. yeah. And so they were a little older than us, but we we had access to them. Yeah. And now wow. look at them. You know what I'm saying? They on a they on a platform so crazy. So it's like, I'm looking at Orlando like, yo, it's possible, but I know the steps. Like, Orlando people do make it. They just you just gotta stay at it. Like you know what I'm saying? We look at Spiff. Spiff was no different than Spiff was doing like. Actually, kind of like what I do right now. He was, he was. Kind of like just kind of, but he had a camera. You feel me? So what I'm doing is like with yeah, yeah, DJ Holt. Yeah, he had a camera. So it was like he changed him and Ross. He man, Spiff is a legend though. They could never, they could never count Spiff out. He's a legend. Yeah. You know so what I'm saying? So what about? Um, <clears throat> oh, I had a good question. What about uh, who's next? As far as like what artists Who's next Who could blow You know we've Who, had okay. NSYNC We've had Backstreet Boys um, We've had, I feel we've like had I, uh, Smiles of South Star I feel like Whoop's new project Whoop's new project is good 
Tony Boy's project is good. Yeah, Tony Boy. He's I good. I love Tony yeah. Boy. I like I love Badass. All these people I got love for him too. Um Badass Becky's good. Yeah, she's good. Um this kid called Frisco, he got a crazy record, man. I know you ain't made him yet. Um shout out to Derek Milano. He's from Orlando. Um he was a host and he's he's been writing he's been writing records. Yeah, uh, he's he with wrote the big eyes, right? Yeah, he write he wrote press. He wrote okay. Cardi oh, B's record wow. uh Hot, yeah, he wrote Hot Girl Summer too. Thank you, wow. Juju. Um, oh, so he's really in the game already. Yeah, yeah, he's in the game. Yeah, like he, yeah, yeah, he's a young kid too, like three, yeah. four years younger than me. But he's in the game. Now, does um, he rap or does he just write? He's ra he's a rapper, but he got on with the writing. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got a uh, Dree Seeds next up. You got Yola TV. You got Spoo. You got this kid Veta J. He 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 he's a good artist. You got Kaki Khan. So there's a lot. Uh, to name. Yeah, there's a lot to so name. We it just depends. Yeah, we Orlando? next up, but but see the problem with the O is they gotta work together. Yeah, you're right. So it's you're like right, if right. you don't do song, if you don't do records together, it's not gonna mean nothing. But work, for yeah. instance, Tony Boy got this new record with Rob G. Yeah, yeah. You know Rob G is yeah, right. I know Rob G. Tampa. Okay. No, right. no, that's Tom G. Oh, Tom G. Rob, Rob G. G. It's all right. Oh, Rob G is the one who had the a Spanish song. guy. Yeah, okay, okay right. listen now. Check this out. Do the math on this. Rob G. Yeah. Is best friends with Annuel, but Rob G is signed to Spiff. Annuel is who the biggest? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Artist. Right. Yeah. One of the biggest. But he's the. Right, right. He's up there now. No, he's he's that no for sure. He's that man. You know what I'm saying? He's that man. Everybody talking about him. Exactly. So follow form. Follow suit. Right. Rob G is signed to a Spiff and Annuel, right? Wow. Rob G has a song with Tony Boy on some reggaeton hip hop yeah. on the Tony Boy's new tape. Nobody heard it yet. Yeah. I said, "Wow, you out of here!" Wow, yeah, and Tony Boy's already doing his thing, so it's like when you, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna glow. You're gonna glow up. You know what I'm saying? So all these artists have the potential. You got to just stay persistent and just work your move. You know what I'm saying? Just elevate yourself and elevate your game and you could take it to the next level. Because the DJs work together in Orlando. What's, um, what's holding the rappers back? You know, um, To an extent. Yeah. What about what do you think about the new Fat Joe that came out? Oh yeah, the Fat Joe record. Oh, with Cardi B. Fire. I haven't heard it. With Enwell. Enwell. What? You yeah, haven't heard it? Yeah, I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it. And that's what's good that you haven't heard it because you're in tune with your rappers and your music. Yeah, Cardi, I, 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 I like that. You, you know oh, yeah. what's crazy? Cardi, I stay. Cardi I stay. Kill. I stay. I stay high and low. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I stay to the streets. Yeah. And I stay. I sometimes I stay so. Low that I miss the street That I miss the big records And yeah. sometimes I stay so big That I miss It depends on Like when I'm in LA yeah. I know I gotta stay lower yeah. Cause it's too many uh, It's too much of We're only playing big records Yeah, You so, feel what I'm saying? So, so would you play like a Yola record in LA? It depends on where I'm at oh, okay They have a different They have a different uh, Bounce to them They don't do 70 BPM They only do 101 So everything is Won't but if we have a kickback, I can play it. In the club, they not really eating it up like that. Yola, we need a faster song, bro. Right, right that's right, my right, favorite right, rapper. Right, 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 right. you got it. That's hey, rappers. that's my boy. You got to tell him, man. We, you know, he he coming. He can up. spit. Yeah, he's a he's a spitter. You know what I'm saying? But spit. we just got to We just got to keep grinding, and we just got to just work, work, work to move and put these visuals out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I tell everybody. The visuals is just important as the music. Yeah. I feel like it's more important yeah. now than ever. Yeah. So what about you guys with Orlando Party? Huh? I mean, I'm sorry. What, what what could you guys do with H Dot to collaborate? We got to do a party. For yeah. sure. Party. Yes, sir. That's, that's yeah, pretty much one. what we're really known for is, you know, being yeah. in some of the biggest parties out here. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, H Dot, you know, you know he's Absolutely. got the kitchen going. Yeah, He's cooking yep. it up in there. And right, maybe we want to tap into that. Do something at Ice Bar together. Yeah, that's right. All yeah, that's right. Put it together ice like bar. that. Let's be a good, be a good situation. <coughs> the best club to do it at. We're working with a couple of different uh, DJs and different yeah. venues in Orlando. Okay. And you know we're trying to keep that growing. Yeah. Uh, we're working on uh, a website. Yeah. Um, it's a little top secret right now, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna be. It's We're gonna working be. on the blueprint right now, so we don't okay. really. Yeah. Not only that, we can't talk about it because we want whoever's watching. We don't want them to you Steal know it. try to. Yeah, right, you yeah. know they might 
They might have different type of connects. They might be able to get it out faster yep. than we can. But, you know, we got something in the works. But right. uh, For the DJs. Right. We're definitely, we got a big event going this Saturday, uh, the 14th, okay. at Chases on the River. Yeah. It's in Sanford. I don't know Dope. if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, you no, got to no. get H. Dot Dude, out to Chases. It. It's crazy. It's, it's a vibe. It's oh, cool. It's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, could, know, you should do something out there for all right, sure. Bet. Let's do it. There's not many places in Orlando that have a, a pool. Yeah. Right. With the bar. Whoa. It's huge. It's big. It's a big deal. Where is it at? It's out in Sanford. Sanford, it's okay. Chases on yeah, the that's river. That's what I was telling you about on Saturday. Okay, and, that's uh, a vibe. Pool, yeah, bar. It's it's different. The hopping spot right now out yeah, there. It's and you know we got we got people from a Disney College program coming out. We got uh, different right. DJs. Absolutely. Um, a Styles. Shout out to A Styles. A Styles. Shout out Ray to Love. Ray Love. DJ Bird. Ray Love. E T was DJ there. Bird. I was a few there. Weeks yeah. Back I was there. E T. Yes, sir. Yeah, had fun. It was a good time. Good right. vibe. Yeah. Went in the pool. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Right. I mean, uh, and splash. You know, right, right. <laughs> this uh, next Monday we're gonna start um, a hospitality night there. Okay. Yep. And Every Monday. It's gonna be crazy. Yep. Good. Know? Good. So, so know, uh, <clears throat> something we're all doing is obviously social networking, and you know, exactly. for me right now, I I stick with like Instagram, and then sometimes I go on the Snapchat, but rarely. I mean, where do you guys sit as far as Instagram versus Snapchat? Which one do you use? That's the battle. That's, that's the between that's, Instagram and yeah, Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram. You know, I I, 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 don't, I don't forgot about Snapchat. It's retired. You know, I I'm I'm like the king of Snap, man. Like, okay. Absolutely, I'm, I'm all over. It. I'm a very visual person. Right. So. Yeah. Okay. That's how we came up with the Orlando Party Hub. I was like, yo, your, your snaps is popping. Everybody's okay. hitting them up. Like, yo, where you at? Like, you know, yeah. we got the girls in there. We got yeah. be at different spots. Everybody be hitting them up. I'm like, yo, bro, I think we should do something. With yeah. Bro. Like this is tight. This is kind of right. like, this is kind of like a excuse me, like a like a Dan Bilzerian, uh, Mike Busey type of vibe. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Everybody's asking questions. Like, yo, who are these girls? Where you at? And like that. I'm like, yo, let's do something. And that's how we came up with. You yeah. know, party hub. We yeah. plug. So don't right. sleep on Snapchat just right. yet. Yeah. All right. right. Keep if, that if, in mind. If you don't have me on Snap, I definitely recommend to add me. It's uh, Chris D one eight one C R I S D one eight one. I'm always yeah. posting different uh, different things that are going right. on in Orlando. I mean, we're downtown and at the Bullet Bar. We're at Eve. The Bullet. We're with Ricky Padilla. What about you that know. new spot that's, that's next that. to Chillers? Uh, oh, spot. oh. Okay. Yeah. So the old native. Uh, okay. We're working with Mayor. Okay, with, yeah. You know Mayor yeah, downtown? DJ no, no. there. It's DJ the old there. native. It was shut down for a while. Mayor picked it up, and uh, it's in the middle of being refurbished right now, and that's going to be a, another big event that we're working on. I mean, dope, dope. right now, you know, we're, we're pool partying. It's the summertime, but it's yeah. about to end. You know, summer's over. So, so I'm always trying to, like, you know, get my Instagram more popping. Yeah, and I know H dot you got your thing popping, and you guys are growing. So let's talk right. about some rules, cause I got some rules with my Instagram. What's the rules? My rule is I only post one picture a day. So what about what about you guys? You got any rules? Did you stick by? Instagram is yeah. public, right? Yeah. Snapchat is public too, but not everybody has your Snapchat. You know, you can't. You know, you can't just. It's it's different. When it comes to Instagram, I use it. For my music, because I, I make beats and everything like that, I use it as a marketing platform for that because that's how I, you know, got my music thing blasted off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not only that, um, like when it comes to like, for example, like girls, like liking pics, yeah. you gotta keep it to a minimum. Okay, that's a rule. Keep you know why? You, like if you like if you like if you have <laughs> if you like, like for example, <laughs> then, if there's a chick like. I prefer not to, honestly. You know, yeah, I used to. Yeah, like yeah. back in 2012 when I first, I yeah. was like in everything. Yeah. Yeah. You prefer the DM? <laughs> uh, I was y'all. I was, I was all over the place. DM is the but devil. Now, if You're I, right. if, if, if I, if I, if there's a chick, right, and I'm feeling she looking good, I, I hit a, I hit a, a, a like, right. I've exceeded my maximum amount of likes. Okay, just day. one like. Uh, not, not just the for her. For, oh, you gotta be careful, man. You oh, know, yeah. you know like that. Yo, you gotta understand. There's a section of Instagram where you can see who's liking what. Yeah, yeah. You don't know anybody watching. Yeah. Right, uh, right, You know right. what I'm saying? I, I don't care either, but it just serves. <laughs> I'm people. just saying. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm right. Just saying, oh, damn. Right. You, you can't do what trouble. I do though. But I'm so, just right. So, so what about you? What rules have you got, H? Though any rules that you can give someone out there? Um. What, as far as like liking pictures? No, as far as like how many pictures a day. Like liking what pictures. you want to like is just like, yo. Oh, man, I can't say that. How private, how personal are you? Like, you it's mean? like, all right, would you have a problem with your, like your girl could like guy pictures, right? 
I mean, no, no, let's no, no, let's let's say. I would like, say, yeah. I like mean, say, yeah. All right. It depends on the guy, though. It, de- it depends on the guy, and yeah. depends on what type of picture it is. Yeah, 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 and it depends right. on what type of picture. See, it is, she right? can like your picture because she she's probably gonna be a fan of yours, but she can't like someone else's picture because we don't know. You know. I think. <laughs> That's a touchy um, one. That's a touchy. Yeah. You know what? I think I kind of opened my mind, like, not to get off topic. I kind of opened my mind. I watched this interview on The Breakfast Club. And, you know, um, I watched this interview last night on The Breakfast Club. What's the black guy's name? This Charlemagne? One the, nah, the, uh, the guy that was on there. And he said, I don't want to say, I don't want to say. He's the black guy that just came, the black guy, the actor. Oh, Idris headed. Elba? No. Uh, no, he looks like him. Um, well, no, yeah, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Is 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 he's we'll, a he's we'll a famous? Yeah, we'll find out the name. Show from, uh, New York Undercover? I think so. Yeah, the big old school rapper. Yeah. Uh, um, he was. I I would just want to get his name right. Um, uh, but anyway, he was on, he was on the Breakfast Club, and you okay. know, he had a couple, you know, um, I guess, uh, he I had guess, some guests, yeah, yeah, he had some guests, and they, you know, and they're in there, in there, in there. I, I learned something from the interview. They were gay. Yeah. You feel me? And oh, what? I didn't yeah, know. I didn't yeah, know. they were gay. You I just feel didn't me? Get, I didn't get to finish it. Malik Yoba. Yeah. So the famous actor. You you, you remember? You follow? You probably got to see his face. Yeah, I got to see his face. Yeah, you, when you're going to be know, like, oh, okay. So as you know, gay people, they're more like open than us. Like in the right. sense of like they have more or less of a care. Right. for things right more so optimistic. yeah so it was like so when it now and i was just thinking like imagine if you don't put no limitations on the person that you're dating right. just yeah. speaking on the yeah. instagram yeah. situation yeah, that's, that's me. let's let's just let's just say if it's like yo let we let's say if we just start making it light like yo yeah. who cares it's just instagram yeah it's just instagram yeah like okay this nigga got his boxers showing okay but it's but if we just start saying who cares it's just instagram you would kind of lower your stress level. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's how I feel. So it's, it's like, better. let's stop. Like, that's this is what I learned from them. Like, you know, because they were trying to get their point across for what they do or whatever. You know, respect to them what they do. But it's like, let's just lower the level of just putting limitations on people. Yeah, you're and right. And let's just right. be it's a little just more like, yo, it's just Instagram. It's all about. Let's just say, yeah, and just like being a little more chill with things. Like, yeah. Right, right, right. You can't have an insecurity. Like what you want to like. I don't give a... Yeah, like, yeah, I don't care if it's yeah. sex, if they're having sex. And you know what I'm saying? If you're attracted to this man, just... Right. You have to like... Whew, because when you say it's okay, I think you... Whew, because yeah, yeah, you if you, that, when yeah. you... When you when you see it and you feel some type of way, this is what... You're holding it Hold in. Hold it in, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's right. just... I like, let's, I like, you I feel like, me? So this is what I'm saying, what I learned from them. Let's just find out how to just speak like... Speak chest. Yeah, let's just find out. Like, yo, it's not that serious. Right. Yeah, it's because at right. the end of the day, you know, gay people they kind of move like on their own accord. Yeah. They don't really. They don't. They. They are. They're. They. They. They speak their mind on everything. They don't hold shit in. Yeah. You feel me? Because the whole world. They they feel, yeah. They. Yeah. They feel like the whole world is yeah. against right. them. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, if we start just treating our relationships like yo, it's in certain things, it's like yo, it's not that serious. Yeah. Like if it's like. Not to get off topics, like your girl in a section with her home girl and this mad dudes, who like let's just start, who, who fucking care? Like yo, I seen your girl with fuck. It's about confidence. Fuck yeah. care? No, yeah. it's not about. It's, not it girl, is, right? huh? Not my girl, right? <laughs> I mean, nah, no, nah, I'm just saying though. Yeah, I'm just I'm, kidding. Nah, I'm just yeah, I feel you, but I'm just saying though. Just imagine if you just start saying like, who cares? Like yeah, imagine right, if you just right. really be like, I don't care, and you really mean it from the chest. It'll put you in a different space. Right. And that's when I learned, like, damn, it's, that's kind of true. Like, if we just stop caring, like, do what you want. Yeah. yeah just don't disrespect it, me. Yeah, for sure. Do what you want. Hang right. around who you want to hang around. Yeah. Like, who's with, if it's the girl's secure. with the guys, yeah. who cares? Yeah, that's right. Because at the end of the day, as us guys, we like to hang out. And we want to hang, like, yo, we don't right. like, I don't like to be nagged. Yeah. 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 You feel me? I don't like the nagging shit. That shit irks me to my soul. Yeah. You and sometimes it's just like, if you like a girl's pick, it's probably because she's liking your pick. 
And you just both trying to get your likes up. Generally, yeah. I mean, course, yeah. I do like for like, but yeah, you know, like sometimes like, if I, right. you know, show I love. might have looked and I'm like, like, hey, damn, yeah. she's cute, whatever. Yeah. It's a, right. this, it, yeah. sometimes you know what There's I think Instagram, cuties, Instagram is just a lust. It's yeah. like it's a flirt. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Just treat yeah, yeah, like it that. Like some some of these people, you never. You don't ever really meet. You're not gonna never really see them in person. You might cross paths with them, and it's gonna be like, oh, yeah, yeah. and then you see them in person, and be like, oh no. Yeah. You just yeah. can't <laughs> like the booty pics. That's uh, it. Uh, with the, but that's what know. I said though. You can't like you got, those but ones. But et, right, you gotta okay. let it go. What? I, I don't really be like. I don't. You're I'm right not though. It's a, it's kind of like, like a subconscious but, pressure. Yeah. Like yeah that we apply to ourselves without without, yeah. without even realizing it. Yeah, yeah. It's true. You know, we gotta be free. You know. You know. I think for us though is. You know, Orlando Party Hub, it's different. I mean, H. Dot, his is more on a personal as well as business mm -hmm. level. You know, us as Party Hub, it's mainly, it's like its own entity. Yeah. You know, but we represent it still. Yeah, yeah. So oh, oh not, yeah, yeah, for sure, for right, sure, yeah. It's not, if it's your personal right, Instagram, eat it up. Story, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah, you gotta so, stay professional. I mean, for Party Hub, we try to keep it interesting, you know. Absolutely. We post what we post here and there, and just try to keep people on edge, keep people wanting to know what's up next. Uh, what are these guys up to? What are they doing now? Yeah. You know, we're working with a lot of different, you yeah. know, DJs and a lot of different venues, <coughs> and, and yeah. you know, we're helping them expand and grow, and, and yeah. people are coming to us to see what's yeah. going on. Party Hub is a whole turn up. It's yeah. a whole. <coughs> and it's hard. Yeah. Last one, with being a <coughs> DJ, social light yeah. promoter, yeah. yeah. it's hard having to. Ooh, a vibe, yeah. <laughs> a girlfriend or whatever yeah. Yeah. you got going on. It's hard right. to have that because yeah. <laughs> you got to be. Sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But All right. sorry, fellas, I got a uh, kitchen. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got. We got. We got. We're gonna wrap this up. Okay. Yes, but before we wrap it, because we 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 hit the okay, hour sure. mark and that's how long the show is. Oh, that's we great. Got about Wonderful. five minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right. No but doubt. before we wrap it up, we're gonna talk about what we're doing. And we're also gonna. I would like for you, if we got time, if you don't have time, on Juju, we have time or no, 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 no. We gotta go. Just real right. quick, real quick. One song that you're vibing with I'm right now. Minutes. What's your favorite song right now? I'll tell you right now, on my phone. My go-to record right now. Yeah, go-to record. That my you're gonna jump in your car on your way out of here. And you're gonna say. I'm probably gonna this pump. I'm probably gonna pump that new yes. Uh, Cardi oh, B, yeah, Fat okay. Joe, yes, Cardi and, B, and Fat well. Joe. If you haven't heard it, I would definitely say, hey, yeah. definitely uh, jump that in your deck. Face oh, yeah. down, jump. ass up. Right now, I'm on this, um, I got two. Uh, Pimp C is a player. Pimp C is a player. Okay. I don't know. Pimp yeah, go check that out. Is that old school or no old school? Oh. Pimp C is a, is a player. Rest in peace. Okay. I like to listen to old music. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was gonna say I that. Appreciate you. I don't have no particular song right now. You know, yeah. as, as far as new songs, Fat Joe, yeah, Cardi okay, B, and Unwell. Okay. You already know I'm from the Bronx, so yeah. you know, shout out. But um, as far as what I'm gonna j jam out to, it's probably gonna be something from Three Six Mafia. That that's yeah, just yeah. me personally. MC is a player. Go you, you already know. Hypnotize minds. That's just me. me. That's why I listen to. For me, I would say yeah. Post Malone. And um, the baby got a new song out. So okay. Shout out, out one. love for life, and check out your yeah. new record featuring Lil Wayne. It's oh yeah, called... that's hot too. I heard that today. All right, yes. so where can they check you out, H dot? Uh, in the kitchen with H dot on Instagram, um, H underscore dot on Instagram, I T K W H D dot com coming soon for all my artists. Get ready. The in the kitchen website is dropping, man, and I'm about and then to. You do the beach him. Yes, I do the beach him at when? once. Uh. Once a month, because I live, month, okay. I still live, stay over here in California. And, that's and then Alchemy you every Monday. Yes. Oh, Alchemy every month. So, yes. So you'll fly back to be at Alchemy, or sometimes where you get. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do like uh, out, uh mixtape release parties, right. EP parties, and stuff like okay. that for artists. So you'll be there this Monday. I might. Okay. All right. Well, I, I have to hit you up. Yes. Love for there. life. Et. I love you, baby. I love y'all. Shout out to the party out. crew. Love.